Alright guys, what's going on? It's Bash Map here, and today it's going to be a live commentary. Usually what I do in my other videos is just to post, I'll record the clips and just commentate afterwards, but we're going to have a little twist today, and with me today is special guest, uh, player mod Alex, also known as Paint. Uh, you can say hi. Hello. Paul. Yeah. Hi, go a lot. Hi, peoples. <laughs> yeah. Um, so basically today what we're gonna do is just sift through the suggestions area into the in the forums on the enraged that I could put a link down below and we're just gonna give our input and see if like any of these things could happen in the near future so one post that I put a while back was um, concerning weekly hybrid tournaments I just kind of went in depth with it and I could offer a link if you guys are interested in that idea but what do, you, what do you think about weekly hybrid tournaments? Would you? Uh, I would do it, but I would like it to be more focused around all hybriding levels, like NH, uh, Zerker, and main hybriding. But I wouldn't just want it to be main hybriding, so I would just put some people down, because I'm saying there are a lot of NH peers on this. Yeah, I think like uh, with PK Sean coming over, it, it's going to really help expand like the NH community. So if anything, they're probably going to help boost the server's reputation out more. But like price-wise for an NH, or, like if they were to win a hybrid tournament, like what would be a decent prize? You know, they they don't they don't even need much. Just give them like a corrupt VLS if they win. That would make them happy. <laughs> yeah, corrupt VLS. What would you think of like uh, maybe like in-game? like ranks not like a, a right click or anything too crazy but like maybe when the game starts up it'll say like your weekly top three hybrids this week and then it'll give like the top three names i think it would be kind of cool if like those three hybrids would get especially yell titles like a bronze a gold and a silver one and then it said first second and third on it as the yell text yeah i think also if they're like and then they have them for the week yeah True. Also, if they're like free players, uh, I put this in the in the suggestion forum thing. I I said like maybe if they're free, they could get like boosted PKP for maybe like three days or something like that. So every kill would be like two PK points, so they could e get even closer to like you know special weapons yeah. and stuff in the shop. So I think that's a pretty good idea. Uh, but you know we've yet to see. We'll we'll see how that turns out, but. Uh, as far as that one goes, we'll leave it at that. Let's see what else is in the uh, forums here. Adding Slayer Dungeons to help the economy in the future. Does that one sound pretty interesting, or do you want to skip that one? I think we should do this one, because I actually really wanted to see Slayer when I was getting comp kit. It was kind of depressing not getting up to do that skill. <laughs> yeah. Alright, so this one's by Sonoman. Uh, it basically says, I think it would help the economy when Slayer Dungeons get added into the game. Uh, examples like Abbey Demons, Mutated Jadinkos, and so on. I think it would be really amazing to have Slayer since not a lot of servers, well, not a lot of servers have it coded well. A lot of servers have it coded in, but none of them really have it that well. Yeah. Just, just, just like farming. No servers really have farming coded in very well. I think it would really be interesting like to see, uh, since we have really good developers on the server, like what they could do with skills like that. Because I think they would do a good job and, you know, it'd really make you wonder. Because since there are already whips in the shops, like what would Abbey Demons drop, you know, maybe something extra special or something like that. Yeah. So I think we've yet And whips still do have a trade value and then you can sell them back to the shop for 2.5 mil every time you get one. They just had to make them pretty common for people actually to do Abbey Demons for money. Yeah. I'm I'm really attracted with the right? yeah I'm really attracted with the Jadinko dungeon idea because that would help introduce vine whips into the game and cool. Bolas yeah Bolas uh, Sages I think too like the javelin thingies so those were fun yeah. <laughs> I loved using an RS for one item that was, <laughs> was two days okay all next right. post all right let's see trust him in the ranks this is what I actually wanted to get off for a while okay. People are asking a lot about trusted member ranks. We don't know what's going to happen with those. I hope they're added, because you can't just trust a random player you find it selling a kiln. Yeah. They could easily, like, you have to hand over control of your account, so it's a lot to give up. So, I think with trusted, you know, players, it'll help people have just more of a clear conscience when it comes to just giving a player your password, your PIN, if you have one, and just, like, basically your whole bank, you know? Um, 
Yeah. For me, it's really easy. I just log in, get my stuff, get the kiln, and just get out. But for another guy who says he'll do a kiln for you, he'll get in your bank, and if he sees a juicy stat plate body, you know, he'll just sn snatch that and. You know, <laughs> so. That's why you degrade all your. Stadius before. <laughs> yeah. Definitely you want to do. That. Uh, <laughs> unless you plan on selling it, then you can't just transfer over what they don't need on your account. Yeah. But that is until we get like trusted players, which I I do kind of hope we get it, just so it would like uh. Yeah, you don't have to do, scamming. and you don't have to do twenty kills a day. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Let's see what else. Um. Oh, now we're gonna skip that one. That one's no. Okay, farming and slayer. I think you should add. Try to code farming and slayer to make max cape harder. Yeah. Farming would be a really hard to code, but slayer, it's hard, but it's not too hard. But I think slayer is possible, but farming, that would take a while. Unless you just want it to be like some other servers that just have where you like click on weeds a thousand times to get 99. <laughs> right. <laughs> That'd be a pretty interesting way to, to get the skill done. But I think if farming gets introduced, like, what do you think of maybe getting rid of the whole, uh, like, the shops that offer the herbs, so now you have to farm Yeah. Them. It'd make it a lot harder to get 99 herb. It'd also make it, like, extra special for people who started early, who already have 99 in it. Yeah. They're like, glad just, 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 just like the hunter thing, you can't... It's like hunter. Mm -hmm. Where, like, you hit dot dot master and it's already done, but new players can't do that, so... I'm thinking they're yeah. probably gonna make that, a. Uh, a trainable skill which would be pretty decent I wonder what they would offer for like drops though like if you catch imps and stuff yeah how that would help in the game I don't know but we'd have to see okay. I guess go to Arno and Andreas to read whatever one that one is right, so this one's by Kuzi Strong. he says this is a this isn't a suggestion just a few things that uh, really should be changed the DDS spec still hits through player uh, prayer f please fix that uh, and I got a Pernix body first next in game uh, from next today, and it says "fuck off, ragger, you mad," which was in the spawn version <laughs> to prevent ragging. So, um, oh, there's a server update. So, all right. I'm pretty one. sure that the Pernix body thing is already fixed, but no, that was not the first next item in game. Yeah, it does uh, usually tell you when you get a drop, right? Like this person just got a drop from next. Yeah. I probably wasn't online. That's the only thing. Me and next got me and Dan got a Z boat next before this even happened, so Dang. not first next item, but anyway. Yeah. Let's see. Okay, go to the few suggestions. Alright. Few suggestions. Let's see. Okay, so obtainable items. He's talking about slayer items right here. Well I guess not Bahama. Bahama's not a slayer item. And Bahama, I don't know what the effect is on that, but I guess it'd be kinda good to see some more uh, effect items in game and the javelins from the Slayer dungeon thing, those would actually be pretty cool to have the effects. I love that effect. Yeah, I think it'd be pretty cool. I mean, the Slayer helmet, I've never really used it, so I don't really know the. Well, it'd kind of be useless unless you got Slayer added in, yeah. but. So that's kind of like looking at the far future. Well, far slash near. It could really happen any time, to be honest. Cause Brackish Blade is already added into the shop, so we can X that one off that list. Yeah. Leaf Blade is Sword. You don't need that unless you're a 50 attack peer, but I don't really see that. On being a private that. server. <laughs> no, I, I can see it happening, but I don't see it happening on a private server. You can set your stats to anything you want. Yeah, most people would just probably go with the common 99 and everything. Right. Okay, miscellaneous, miscellaneous. Increase the value of org bones so you make a bit more when you do bandage trips, even without the rare drops. Can't you I don't sell know. them to the shopkeeper? Yeah, but I don't know the current price of them, but um, I guess it'd be kind of cool to make the price a little bit higher. Yeah. Maybe like 20 ish K each or something like that? Or is that Add dragon it? square shields to the armor shop. They're already in the armor shop. Add loyalty points. For what? Like special emotes? <laughs> No, I have loyalty points for like auras and shit. Oh, okay. Without the special winged auras, those should stay respected. Yeah. 
Reduce the price of yes, reduce the price of flasks, those are expensive as fuck. <laughs> yeah, I know like summoning ones are like 15k each or something like that. Mm -hmm. And when I'm like skilling or something, I could juice those out pretty quick, so it'd be nice to, to like have them down. I wouldn't mind. Okay, go to website suggestions, we'll look through these. Alright. Website? Okay, apparently most of these are already done. Oh, um, yeah. Yeah, all these are like really old. It looks like a lot of people aren't posting in the website too much. I'm thinking though for website, like, I'm not really advocating for like a website revamp because it's actually pretty nice the way it is. Yeah, I kind of like it, but I like the bulletin better for website actually. I think the bulletin well, is a lot more like customizable, so. And it's but it's way more expensive, so. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> so for now, I'm I'm pretty happy with what we got already. I mean, it gets the job done. It's clean. It's like even. So, I mean. We got a lot of form spammers at the moment. Holy shit. Yeah, I don't know what's going on. I only even know about that one guy, but I don't know what other threads are being like flooded on. So, hopefully after Top, we we're done, topic, I'll general discussion videos. I'm really confused. <laughs> How many are what? you seeing right now? I see five different spam accounts. Sheesh. Okay, I guess that's kind of it for this video. Else. All right. Something else to have for him. Um, no, I think that I think that's good enough for this episode. I mean, helps people get to kind of see the our perspective on a lot of things. Keep the suggestions coming, though, because they're all pretty unique. I think one that I might have seen in the suggestions that I probably skipped through was uh, Crystal Keys into the game. Uh, yeah. I, I would That'll like the be... idea, but what kind of items would you get from there, you know? Would it be like one of those servers that you get a bunch of random items from that you just never use ever? Probably. I mean, hopefully not. You could maybe get like some PK supplies or. I yeah, don't really know. Because I do get crystal key pieces a lot from when I like yeah. PM randomly, so it'd be cool to see. But we could probably. I, get I, I, I believe you can sell those to the shop for like a mill or something. I don't know. I heard it. But I don't know if I ever did that, but I, I just heard about that. I'm not sure though. Yeah, if that's the case, and that's a good way to like put them in for now. That is until like if they ever add a, a chest for it, then. That would be the other option, of course. But, uh, yeah, I think uh, I think we're done here, huh? You think so? Yeah. I don't really know anything else to talk about. Yeah. So, yeah, guys, just keep the suggestions coming. If you're not familiar on the forums, just feel free, because I know i got some subs that don't play the game. Just comment down below what you'd like to see in the game. Really, a lot of anything is possible, because the server's pretty new. The developers are very good, so, you know, if they do like an idea enough, most likely they will they can make it happen, so... Uh, just don't be shy about it. That's it for now. Uh, thanks for guest starring in this commentary, man. Appreciate it a lot. Yeah, you're welcome. Yeah. Um, so yeah, guys, thanks for watching, and I will see you all next time.